There has been a lot of excitement about supplementing with glycine and NAC together, also referred to as Glynac, and for good reason. Multiple studies in humans, not mice, have shown that supplementing with glycine and NAC together can increase declining glutathione levels. So, if we're trying to raise glutathione levels, why not just take glutathione? And why do we need to worry about glutathione levels to begin with? Glutathione is known as the master antioxidant. Around our mid-40s, glutathione levels begin to go down, and lower glutathione levels mean our bodies have more, a more difficult time with the detoxification process in general, and we end up with elevated levels of oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction. And this leads to the effects of aging. The good news is that studies have shown that it is possible to improve declining glutathione levels, as mentioned earlier. And that brings us back to our original question. Why take glycine and NAC? Why not just take glutathione? And that's a great question. The reality is that you can take a glutathione supplement. The problem is that glutathione supplements are unstable and most of it is not absorbed by the cells. It does work to raise glutathione levels, just not nearly as well as taking glycine and NAC together. For some reason, providing your body with these two building blocks works much better. What about liposomal glutathione? This version is stable and it allows the glutathione to be directly absorbed by the cells. Awesome! Problem solved, right? Well, it may solve the problem of glutathione absorption, but it creates another problem. Oh, why does everything have to be so complicated? The challenge is that each cell needs a different amount of glutathione, and that changes from time to time. A study in the Journal of Gerontology says it's critically essential to understand that each tissue maintains a different amount of GSH, meaning glutathione, based on its metabolic demands. This demand is dynamic and variable. This means it's changing constantly. This is why cells regulate their own glutathione synthesis. We used to think that we need to get rid of all oxidants completely, but new research is showing that we actually need a delicate balance of antioxidants and oxidants. So we don't want to completely eliminate oxidants altogether. As we just mentioned, your body has the ability to regulate glutathione levels for that reason. If you bypass that process by taking a form of glutathione that is absorbed directly by the cell, then you can create an unwanted balance in your cells and actually accelerate aging through something called reductive stress. And that's probably the last thing that anyone wants. 